getting fertile on testosterone or if you're on anabolic steroids, this video is just for you. If you are on androgens and you're concerned for having a child or another child, I've broken this down for you. Here's what we're going to talk about today. First, we're going to talk about the physiology of reproductive endocrinology on androgens. Then we're going to go into techniques and medications that we know work, that I use and other physicians that are experts in working with men that are using androgens and have fertility issues, which is going to be predictable for a sub subset of men. And lastly, we're going to discuss semen analysis in detail. This is going to be crucial for you guys to understand. The physiology of what happens to men that are taking testosterone from TRT doses all the way through a spectrum of men that are using full-on anabolic steroids or both. There is the classic hypothalamus pituitary central nervous system gonad axis that is going to be crucial to understand when you're on androgens even small amounts of androgens and limited androgens, it shuts down the gonadotropins, LH and FSH, from your brain that will stimulate your testicles, and it's a closed loop. That's that hypothalamus pituitary gonadal axis. It's important to understand there is Leydig cells that produce testosterone and Serotoli cells that produce semen and sperm, and it's a closed loop in your body from your brain and your testicles. Women have ovaries. It's, it's, it's an analog for us. So when you're taking androgens, it, it essentially, gentlemen, is a birth control. But we all know the good news is that even extreme bodybuilder guys, they have children. So let me explain this to you. But you have to think these techniques and these medications, it's all on a spectrum. You know, are you on a little bit are, are you on nothing a little bit and then are you on a lot and have you been going on and off? Obviously, as you move to this direction, it gets more difficult and more challenging. The best technique, first off, for a man to maintain protection on his fertility is to, before taking testosterone or steroids, to save sperm. To get a semen analysis, we'll talk about it at the end of the video together today, all the details. To, to really be proactive, you'd, you'd want to get your semen analysis and store enough. And we'll talk about that in the end. So that's really protective. But most men that are young and healthy, they don't need to do that. So what do I see? If you're on TRT, let's get right into it, guys. Let's start from TRT and then talk about blasting and cruising. Guys that are on TRT, you can start TRT with HCG, and there's been limited data that doesn't go more than about a year that small doses co-administered with testosterone injections, again, this is TRT, not steroid doses, you will maintain your, your, your a level of what's called normal semen function. And guys have taken HCG and testosterone and have, have achieved fertility. What I see for decades being the doctor who I am and seeing different men on different levels of steroids, it can work in the beginning and then they lose it and they get a semen analysis and they've been on testosterone with HCG. Maybe they're not religious on taking the dose for weeks and weeks and months and years, and, but they're going to be infertile. Yeah, so you have to understand there's going to be potential shutdown, down regulation of the, these, these serotoli cells not to mention the Leydig cells. But you're on testosterone, so your brain's receiving exogenous stimulation from the medication, the injection, or the gel, or whatever you're on, the pills, and you feel good, you see? So, but your testicles are atrophied, and they're sleeping, they're dormant. Now, how do you wake them up? So, again, the next step would be, you talk about post cycle therapy. Let's go from the TRT guys into the steroid guys. Guys for years have been just coming off 
go on for six weeks or eight weeks, 10 weeks, be limited on, on, on the steroids, including testosterone, and then come completely off. When guys get fertile, they're usually, hey, they came off. Even some men, when you're young, you're a beast. So you come off for a limited time, your body's fighting it. Of course, your semen count's gonna to wanna to come back quick because you're young, and it can. The full count could take up to two or three months to come back. But if you've been on and off steroids, here's where it's important, blasting and cruising. Guys will come off, what happens? They don't feel good. So what do they do? Let's do my PCT, let's talk about it. HCG with tamoxifen, with clomid and clomiphene and different AIs, aromatase inhibitors. And the AIs really just block the estrogen. Tamoxifen blocks the effect of gynecomastia. The real money is HCG and clomid or and clomiphene on the central nervous system and the testicle latex or telly cells, more serotoli cell for this discussion for fertility. It can work. It can really, really work. Now, are you getting the right drug? Are you getting good doses? The doses for men, when they come off, they want to get fertile, depending on who they are in the analysis of how long they, their age, what other issues they have for medical, how many children do they have? Do they have, have they ever had children? Have they ever been infertile? So you, you have to use doses like 1,500 units of HCG all the way up to 3,000 every other day with or without Clomid, 25 to 50 milligrams every day or every other day. That's it, guys. There's the information for you. Doctors will use all sorts of other drugs. Are there, there are drugs that are LH and FSH analogs that, that are very expensive, recombinant analogs. And fertility experts will use it. They'll have extraction procedures, surgical procedures for in vitro. It's very complicated. This is fertility urology. So if you're concerned, get a second opinion or an opinion or a consult with a fertility urology doctor. Okay. So I think the best way to go is to understand saving your sperm and your semen completely would absolutely be 100% but it's a lot of work. Most men don't need to do it, but it's there for you to do it if you need to. Otherwise, if you're gonna be on testosterone, I don't recommend living on HCG concurrently. Estrogen goes up, it's a lot of work, it's more expensive, a lot of injections, and most men can't keep up with it after a few months. But if you wanna do it, do it. Can it work to maintain fertility? Small doses of HCG, 250 to 400, two or three times a week, not 1,500 to 3,000. Th those are for your off everything and you're blasting that off testosterone and steroids, trying to crank up your sperm, okay? You have to understand, you can't be willy-nilly. You have to either take testosterone with HCG or when you want, stop testosterone and steroids and start these other medications or just wait. But the waiting is suffering because your, your test is going low. A lot of guys say, I can't even have sex. I don't want to have sex because my test is low. That's why you use HCG and different combinations of n clomiphene and or Clomid. But if you have depression or all these other medical issues, sir, it's going to be super complicated. Now let's talk about the semen analysis. This is going to be crucial if you're gonna come off and be on some of these medicines for a while and nothing's happening. I like 90 days. I got a guy, he's off steroids and testosterone. I put him on my 1500 of HCG plus say 25 milligrams of Clomid. Sir, see you later. Give me three months, maybe even six months. Nothing happens. She's doing the ovulation kit, nothing happens. Then you have to get semen analysis. You have to look at the data to see what you've done. What is, what are the numbers? It's all statistical numbers. And that's where the sponsor of this video comes in, Legacy. This company is the most trusted at home sperm and storage service. Now, they provide at home services for you. You don't have to go in what other guys have been into a fertility clinic and masturbate with the magazines and leave your sperm there. You could do it at home. This is why it's absolutely so amazing. Legacy will ship you a collection kit at home for you to collect your semen analysis 
and to easily ship it back to Legacy. Within two days, you'll have access confidentially to your fertility health and your semen analysis online where you will learn about your sperm health. Very specific, this is very important. Volume count, concentration, motility, and morphology. You'll also have the option to discuss with a video call, a fertility specialist to review all these details. That's very important. If your sperm passes the legacy post thaw analysis, you'll have the option to cryo storage your sperm for future use. That's why guys are doing this. Many fertility clinics charge up to $1,000 a year to store your sperm. Legacy keeps those costs much lower and even offers lifetime storage for one flat fee. Get proactive with your fertility with Legacy. Use code ANABOLICDOC to get 20% off your kit at testlegacy.com forward slash anabolic doc, testlegacy.com forward slash anabolic doc. Click the link in my description or use the QR code. In conclusion, if you're interested in other aspects of fertility and sex, please visit my playlist sex and fertility. I hope this helps, gentlemen.